What's up, y'all? Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Matt Thomas. Um, I'm a friend, I'm a lover, basketball player, a mentor, whatever you want to look at it as. I am uh, everything under the sun. I pride myself on these things. I pride myself on using my testimony to let people know where I got in life, you know, how far I've gotten, where I've traveled, what I've done with my life. Um, that's big for me. Uh, growing up, you know, Life wasn't easy, but life wasn't too tough, you know. I had a hell of a mom. You know, she did what she had to do for to make sure I was in a position to succeed. You know, even when we bumped heads and, you know, I had to go astray on my own way, you know, I still used the foundation that she gave me to get there, you know. As much as I want to take my own credit, you know, that's my first lady. She put me in a position to succeed, and I will forever be thankful for her. I'm, I was pretty confused about how to do this video blog thing and, and, you know, I had a conversation earlier and the person I spoke to was just like, just come from the heart. Just say what you what you feel and and keep it genuine because once you start planning it out, you know, it won't be that. So this is what we're going to start with. Um, about 35 minutes ago, my mom was just taken out of the, ho out of the house and was escorting the ambulance. Um, her blood pressure was 200 over 95. Uh, for those who don't know, that's that's not a good thing. Um, you know, she's been dealing with some health issues over the past couple of years, and like I said, even though we bump heads, that's my first lady, anything happened to her, man. <sighs> man, you know, that's, that's a different topic for a different day. Um, I feel like what I really want to get into is uh, Cause I want to talk about love, you know. I'm not talking about the love, but you post a person that's just WCW, MCM. I'm not talking about the concert, like, uh, you know, long post that you read about your person. I'm not talking about the you hold the hands in the summertime. I'm talking about, like, real, genuine love. I, I find myself a pretty attractive guy, and uh, I've had those words be expressed to me over the course of my years of life. And to no degree was it really significant that I could really be like, yo, this really means something. So I want to know, like, you know, what are the people who takes on love? I'm going to say my take, and, you know, if you would like, you can leave in the comments, and I'll, I'll give you some feedback on what I think, and we can go from there. Growing up, I wasn't raised on love. You know, everything was tough. I was taught how to be a husband. I was taught how to be the man of the house. I was taught how to provide and how to never need nothing from anybody. I was taught so much of independence that that's where my work ethic came from. That's where the hard work came from. That's where the perseverance came from. Um, this has trickled over into my adult life now. You know, I, I've just graduated college. Again, I have three college degrees. Um, I gotta thank God for that. Never in a million years, if you would have told me like, I would have three college degrees, I would even believe you. I would have thought I would have been in the NBA with a few kids right now. Um, quite frankly, um, in the Bible it says love is unconditional. You know, the way it describes love is like so selfless. It's, it's basically humanly impossible to, to give this or to ex experience this. But however, you know, we do attempt to, we do try. Um, there was a guy, I'm not gonna, I mean, his name is already out there. He's a football player. And he found out that his girl was cheating on him, you know. If my girl goes out and she's allowing guys to smack on her butt, she's allowing guys to lick her butt, that's not my girl. You know, we lost the value of what things are, what things were. Like, you know, I could genuinely say, like, I'm not in touch with that whole love aspect. Like, if I tap into it, that means I'm really invested, I'm really into it. I'm not going to just tell you just to tell you just to make you feel good about yourself. I really feel something. I really I really look at you like like you could be mine, like you could you could be the person I want to grow with. That man, that, like, people was laughing and, like, it was a joke. Like, that man spent five years with that girl. And if you would have asked him prior to her going, he would have said he knew her like the back of his hand. And I cannot even imagine what type of pain he felt. I know what it was like for me to find out that my girl was texting her ex. 
let alone for me to see my girl on social media and everybody put me on before she put me on. You know, we see a new celebrity couple on, we be like, goals. But it's like, you really can't say goals because nobody puts in the type of time to make that work. People be like, oh, I want that Hove and B. Hove cheated. B decided to stay. Hove started to fight for the relationship and his family. Oh, I want that D Wade and Gabby. Wade cheated. Gabby was in acceptance and saying, like, it wasn't on him. I know my man, but we're going to make this work. Almost nine out of ten relationships that you see that's going on out there, it's not always so sweet. They fight for what they want. Me, I, I fought my whole life. All I know is fight. Now, I might not understand the love concept, but I know if I'm willing to fight for somebody and they're willing to fight for me, I'm going to rock there. And it was like, yo, Matt, you know, you should talk about the Miami situation. You talk about the Miami situation. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to talk about it. I can't really get too much into it because I don't know who to be more mad at. Like, of course, I could, I could be biased and be like, you know, all girls ain't, you know. But I could be like, yo, you know, guys, we put ourselves in that predicament to... For girls to feel comfortable like that. But it's just like it's time to take accountability. It's like we all want to be in love. We all want to want to feel something real. But we're not willing to lose ourselves to be something better. My last situation, I was dealing with a female that, um, that told me, I need somebody to love me more than I love them. And there's no problem with that. The thing about it is, is that from my perspective, I never needed the necessity of, needed love. I didn't need to be in love. Love was a privilege to me more so. It was like if it happens, cool. If it don't, nah, I'm good. I'm successful. I'm doing what I gotta do in life. Now I'm kind of finding that not to be so true, you know. Being that I never known what love was in the household, I could figure what I thought love was off of movies, off of books, off of what I've seen, you know, off of what the world wants us to believe love is, you know. Um, so I probably configured something in my mind of love that is not actually possible. If I love somebody, I want to give them my all, take a bullet, you know, breathe life into them. This is, this is what I want to do. Um, and quite frankly, I don't think this generation believes in that. I think it's more so, if you can't give me, then you're not doing for me, so I'm going to go find the next one. It's not about putting time anymore. It's not about putting in the work. It's more about me, 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 me. How do you know you're in love? How do you know you feel this way? How do you know this? How do you know that? I've asked numerous times. I've asked numerous females because it was so relevant, and it was so easy for a person to say it to me. It's like, what do you love? What about me do you still feel so needed to tell me that you love? You know, like I said, I, my mom raised me. My pops was in and out of there, but it was like, if you could love me, how could you love you when my pops came? Huh? Why do you want to stick around, but he didn't? You know, why do you want to love me, but my mom gave me such a tough time? It's like, what do you see in me? that the folks that raised me didn't. Now, this ain't no knock to my folks. When it came to this love thing, I always messed up at it. I always failed at it. I never got it down pack. I was never taught the right way. I'm not here to be a preacher or, or anything like that. But like I said, I just wanted to make sure my my first video blog was, was something to really chop it up about, something for you to really think about.